All right, I'm gonna do a review on the Cabela's two pole dome tent. It's a backpacking tent and uh, see if my boy will help me out. You ready to set up the tent? Yeah. Four and a half minutes to get it from uh, out of the bag and up. Um, I'll put on the fly. That, that shouldn't take too much more time, but uh, that was pretty easy. All right, let's check this thing out. You see it has a ton of mesh. That's going to make it super, super breathable and, and keep it lightweight. I definitely like that. There's a lot of space in there. I'm going to sleep in there with my two kids tonight and uh, see how that goes. It shouldn't be too bad, actually. So. Listen. Check out some of these features. It's really cool. You can uh, wind all this back and strap it. Um, let's see here. This is really cool. These uh, set this up here. Whew. Ventilation system. Pull it up. It's gonna let a lot of air in there. That's super nice. You got the the cords to guide it down if you need to. It looks pretty secure, I mean, it's only two pole. The wind. If I bent that in pretty good, it's still fine. I think it'll do just fine in the wind. I really like that uh, two ventilation options up there. All right, all three sleeping bags fit in there. It is gonna be a little tight, but uh, not bad. Luckily I have little kids. But uh, enough length. I'm not very tall, but uh, definitely enough length. Enough room to sit. So tent did just fine over the night. No rain, um, wasn't too windy, but it was comfortable because there's a lot of air circulation. And uh, it was nice to wake up and not have a ton of condensation all over the place like you do with other tents that have high walls that aren't mesh. Um, so that was probably one of the best, best features about this. Really good design for the rain fly. It does have Velcro help uh, make sure the seam is covered. Of course, you can wrap it around. Tie it off. It would be nice if there was just a little bit more room this way. You could put a backpack or you could definitely put your boots here or other stuff. But if you got a full tent, you're gonna need a little bit extra space to put uh, your gear to keep it dry. Uh, but you got both sides. 
problem is that you only have a door on one side. So if you have gear on that side, you're going to be accessing it from, from below. There's no zipper um, like it is on this side. I really like the door being on the front. It is just a huge door. And it's smooth. You got all this, all this area you can walk in. You can have two people coming in and out. I like that. The uh, Instinct uh, three-person tent. The door is on the foot uh, or the head of the, the tent. And when we used it on that goat hunt, it was like we had to wait for one person to get out before another came in, uh, just because it was kind of awkward where it was at. So I like how big this side door is, and then it's on the side. It would be nice if there was two doors, but uh, that's all right. It still, still works just fine. Again, I really like these vents. a lot of air in there, especially when it's humid at night, um, just makes it nice, I like that a lot. Alright, taking off the fly is super easy, and also it's, you can, uh, if you need to tighten it down, you just, you just pull on it, it'll bring it down, it's already pretty tight, but uh, just a little clip, go around on each side and you need to take it off. So you got a nice loft, you can... It's pretty flat. You can put a cell phone. I put my glasses and cell phone up there last night. You can uh, easily take it on and off. You could hang a, a lantern from that spot. And then you do have you do have two pockets on the inside. Right there. And right there. I really like that door. So Great concept. I like the uh, the waterproofing. It goes up a decent amount. Um, I like it. It's going to be durable. Aluminum poles. Um, it's quality. I didn't see anything that I didn't like about uh, anything that felt not up to par. It all felt really good. Um, again, it'd be nice if it had a little bit long. Uh, I guess longer vestibule. Um, it would be nice if there was a second door, but if you're going solo um, or just have a couple kids, this is perfect. I just saw we actually have another, another uh, decent sized pocket right there. So, more than one pocket. I like it. All right, the poles uh, fold down pretty short, which is nice. I have a, a Kelty backpacking tent, and they're longer. And when I strapped them onto the backpack uh, tight, it kind of bent them. So I like that they're sh they're shorter. They're going to be, I think, a little bit stronger when they're when they're more together. The stakes um, seem pretty good. Um, they're aluminum. I like that they're obviously got that point in there. They seem thicker than the typical ones I've had on my other Coleman tents. It also comes with a, like basically like a patch kit, seal kit. It's a cool concept. Inside of the bag, you can actually uh, have a spot for all your stakes right there. So it's just it's one less thing that you could, and this, one less thing for you to lose. I really like that part. three-person backpacking tent by Cabela's five pounds nine ounces easy setup uh, good design good colors breathable simple I like it perfect for throwing in the back of the car perfect for a 72-hour kit or for hunting in the backcountry um, you can get it at cabelas.com let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it and I'll get them answered thanks